What's this now? Seriously, more of those mutters come to ruin our day again. Let's ruin theirs first. Retreat! Land! Yeah! I got it! Senna! Hit it where it hurts, will ya? Who is this girl? Where did she come from? For a soldier, she's awfully... Uh... Yeah, I know what you mean. She looks about three terms old, way too young to be fighting on the front lines. Not to derail the convo, but are we sure she'll be okay? We pulled her out of the lev, but is there anything else we can do? Well, I don't see any external injuries, but no signs of waking up either. Hard to tell either way. Hmm. Senna, don't worry. She's still alive. I'm sure she'll pull through. Mimi, you sure? Look, we can talk about her all day, or we can find her a doctor. I know which one I'd prefer. All right. But she and her people did assault colony soldiers, so taking her to a colony seems like asking for trouble. Then how about the city? They have medical facilities there. 
Indeed. Seems advisable. What do we do about the Levness? Let's leave it for now. Transporting the girl should take priority. Um, I can carry her. Thanks, Anna. She'll be in good hands. Yeah, I'll make sure of it. The Remembrance Stones, was it? A place to still the hearts, so I'm told. That's right. It's a place to honor the dead and to look deep inside yourself. lately. Has she settled down a little? She's really taken a training, but she keeps getting the better of all the grown soldiers. Ah, you're here. About the girl we transferred here. She's just woken up. Whoa, really? Yeah, although I should say She's a little, um... Uh, were there any complications? No, nothing like that. Or at least, nothing to complain to you about. You're not making sense, and it's getting me antsy. The doctor said she didn't need any medical attention, and... You know what? Why don't you just talk to her yourself? Just bear in mind, she's still a patient, so take it easy on her, eh? Seems at least they kept her safe. But now what? Yeah, it ain't like we can just leave her here forever. Let's talk to her first, like you said. We should try to learn more. All right, but she's recently injured. We probably shouldn't all crowd her. You're right. If we're just asking questions, one person should be enough. That sounds like a plan. So who'll go? Surely it's uni, right? She deals with injured people all the time. And she should be right at home. Oh, yeah? Cheers for volunteering me. I'll go. You, Senna. Why the sudden impulse? Well, it's probably my fault she's like this. It was really more like an accident, you know? There's no need for you to feel responsible. It's not that exactly. It's more like... If I don't do something, um... I... 
I'll have a dirty con a con a con science. You've never heard that word out loud, have you? Oh. Well then, we'll leave the girl to you. Is that all right, Senna? Yeah, I'll be fine. Do be careful, though. She might be meek now, but keep in mind, she and her mates came after us. We'll be right outside. If anything happens, just shout. I can handle myself, Mimi. But thanks. I will. Okay then, I'm going in. Ah! Hmm. Uh, um, hi! I, I see you've woken up. Hmm. How are you feeling? Any pain? Can confirm faint sensation of pain in cranial region. However, operational efficiency of number seven remains unaffected. What? Uh, uh okay. That's good. Actually, I'd, um, I'd like to apologize. <laughs> hmm. Before, I didn't realize you were inside that thing, and... Hmm. Um... Are you okay? No major issues detected. I... I see. Uh... Anyway, if it's all right with you, could you tell me something about yourself? The question lacks specificity. Number seven cannot respond. Oh, I'm really sorry. I guess that was a bit wishy-washy, huh? Well, for starters, then, are you a Cavesi soldier or are you Agnian? Cavus, Agnes. Yeah, that's right. You must know those, right? Affirmative. However, discrepancy was encountered while processing query. Huh? What do you mean? Affiliation of number seven does not match either of two options provided doesn't match. Well, then that only leaves... Special Mobile Combat Unit under Direct Mobius Command, alias Colony Zero. Whoa, you know about Mobius? Affirmative. Then, when you attacked us... Colony Zero soldiers of numbers seven and below were tasked with eradication of Ouroboros. Whoa. That's... not great. So this girl really is our enemy. I have to warn the others. Although... is that really true? She did attack us, so... why is she like this now? Um... what you just told me... it sounded really important. Won't you get in trouble for saying it? I was not ordered to silence on the matter. I... I see. Okay. Oh, shoot, I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Senna. What's yours? I have no name. Huh? Number seven does not possess information under the category name. You don't have a name? Wait, so this number seven thing you've been saying all along? An individual identification number assigned to soldiers of Colony Zero. We do not belong to Kevis or Agnes. We are special assets. Publicly, we do not exist. Consequently, records of personal information stored in growth modules are also expunged at the time of birth. That's crazy. Shall I consider the questioning to be over? No, wait, what you just said. You don't think it's strange? Cannot ascertain purpose of question. Requesting additional clarification. I, I mean, for example, that name thing, a colony that calls people by a number, that's so dehumanizing. Don't you feel bad to be called like that? I mean, you're the same as us, after all. 
Cannot ascertain purpose of question. Requesting clarification. Senna? Hey, you okay? Did you learn anything? Hang on, love, you don't look so good. What happened, Senna? Mimi, I... I... I don't know what to do. Hey, Senna, everything's fine. Let's go somewhere we can talk. Is that all right? Yeah, sure. Sounds like a scoop. for these little ones. They fight each other for territory. I didn't realize parks were such dangerous places. You know, you've got to take regular breaks. This reminds me. Colony Zero? Wow. They did seem like more than regular soldiers, but that's wild. If they're palling around with Mobius, we can't really ignore them, I suppose. We still have very little information. I think a more thorough investigation is in order. Okay, but we're talking about a tiny third term here. Senna, what do you think? Huh? Where do I think about what? You're the one that spoke with her. What's your gut telling you? I just... I just asked questions and she just answered them. But... Even though she attacked us, she doesn't seem hostile or violent. And when I spoke to her, she was literally just answering questions. It didn't feel like a conversation at all. She looks like us, but is actually a whole different kind of being. That's how I felt. And then I got scared of her, and... Oh, I'm sorry, Senna. Senna, give us your honest opinion. Do you think she's an enemy? I don't really know yet. That's kind of why I... I'd like to try talking to her again, I think. What do you mean? You just said you were scared of her. I am, it's true, but... I want to make sure I got the right idea, and that's stronger than my fear. Not just about if she's an enemy, but also about who she actually is, how she thinks and feels. Uh, I get it. You need a bit more time for that, sure. Right. I also want to say sorry for leaving without saying anything last time. Okay, then. If you're doing a house visit and apologizing at once, how about a little gift to grease the wheels? Oh, Sana, you could bring her your onigiri. Onigiri? It's a portable Agnian snack made of packed boiled mithrice. They're lovely and salty, especially the way Sana makes them. They really hit the spot after a long training session. Huh? You can make food? Oh, of course I can. Onigiri, at least. Oh, wait, but we don't have any mithrice. They should have decent reserves in Colony Lambda. Hey, nice! No, hang on. How'd you know that off the top of your head? Commander Izzard likes them. The onigiri. Well, that's just peachy then. Hope he doesn't mind sharing. Thanks, you guys. My hunger is stirred.
My hunger is stirred. Should we eat? Fortify the spirit. By the way, I seem to have angered Michiba earlier. She's hard to read. Any ideas, Noah? Um, well... I don't really think I can help you there, mate. Man, I haven't made onigiri in a minute. Hope I can still shape them, right? Ah, that's nice. Now, let's take them to our patient. Senna, wait. This time around, we'd like to sit in on the conversation, too. Huh? But I thought... No worries. We'll hang back and watch. We're happy to let you do the talking. Uh, uh okay then, if you say so. Hey, sorry to intrude. Can we have a moment? No objections. You wish to resume questioning? No, that's not why I'm here. It's just that last time, I was kind of rude. So, to apologize, I thought I'd visit again and bring you a little something. <gasps> I figured you might be hungry. They're called onigiri? Yes. I'm not very good at this, so they're about the only thing I can make. Yes. But I can guarantee they're tasty, and actually, Mimi says so too. Uh, Mimi, I, I mean Mio, she's... Yes. Oh, sorry, my bad. But please, feel free to eat. I will eat. How about it then? Cannot ascertain purpose of question. Are they tasty? Did I make them right? With regard to first question, number seven, comforter, tasty, to be accurate, assessment. Oh, r really? That's good to hear. With regard to second, application of manual pressure resulting in compaction and prior cohesion, also showing excess salt level. Oh. Uh, no, wait, that's the best part. Isn't it nice and chewy? Ooh. Affirmative. Huh? Number seven has not taken sustenance in this form before. Currently considering that others of Colony Zero may also enjoy the experience. Oh, you think so? Particularly number nine seemed to be growing disaffected with the rations being distributed. And number three, whose calorie intake exceeds the baseline, may find these more sating. As a precaution, salt levels may have to be marginally adjusted, pursuant to guidance from number six. Huh. Hmm. Is there a problem? No, no, it's nothing. Oh, but if it's okay with you, 
Could I ask you to tell me more? Acknowledged. Continuing explanation. So, were the onigiri tasty? You already have a sufficient reply to this question. Have you come to like the onigiri I made? Affirmative. Well, that's good then. I'll make them for you again sometime. Yes. Well, she eats like normal, and she can handle small talk. Yeah, there's nothing suspicious about her. Except she talks funny, but whatever. Let's let Senna keep her talking for a bit longer. Hey, you said you didn't have a name. Recollection of making such a statement exists. Well, then, what about Sagiri? Hmm. Uh, perhaps this is some sort of code or cipher. No, I'm just... I was asking what you thought about Sagiri for a name. Cannot follow logic behind query. Requesting more rational explanation. You're using difficult words again. I, I just didn't want to keep only calling you, you. The designation number seven is... Right! I, I just took the se part from seven and, and tacked on the giri from onigiri. Sagiri! Failure to comprehend basis for utilizing this nomenclature. Well, it's because... You said you liked onigiri just then. Whoa, 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 whoa. Senna, don't you think you're taking it a bit far? Yeah, love. Did you lose your brain at the gym or something? I'm sorry, Senna. I don't think I see what you're after here. Whoa, when did everyone get so mean? I think it's a great name, Sagiri. Y yeah, I think so too, actually. It seems really, um, friendly somehow. <laughs> it's not really like you to come out with something like this, Senna. R really? Well, maybe so, but Mimi, I don't think it's right to call a person by a number. Hmm. Hey, I'm sorry. I let my mouth run away from me. I understand if you felt hurt by it. Regulations contain no special provisions on restricting designation. Huh? Number seven has no authority based on which to reject proposed designations, whatever they may be. Does that mean we can call you Sagiri and you won't mind? Affirmative. Well, there you have it then. Affirmative. <laughs> Nicely done, Senna. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> the girl might still be a total mystery, but really, it wouldn't have been right to call her number seven. What happened? A coded transmission from Colony Zero. The Mobius Consul F is requesting parlay with Ouroboros. The Mobius is requesting what? Number seven will use own iris as relay to forward the transmission to you. A pleasure to make your acquaintance, my young Ouroboros friends. I am F, and before we go further, I would like to sincerely apologize for the discourtesy of this method of introduction. Ugh, what a shameless slug. He thinks we'll forget he tried to kill us. You say you want to parley. How do you imagine that will go at this point? I'm certain you will feel guarded, and rightly so. And yet with that acknowledged, I would like to offer an opening of negotiations with you. Negotiations? Should you accept my invitation, I will rescind the extermination order on you, Ouroboros. Colony Zero will henceforth no longer concern itself with your comings and goings. Oh, that'd be swell! If we were stupid enough to trust your word. And your demands? The bodily return of number seven. Huh? And that's it? That's all it would take for you to never fight with us again? Yes, 
You have my guarantee, and that of the whole of Colony Zero. Are you joking? You're Mobius. You'd throw away one or two soldiers without batting an eye. Certainly some consuls do display such callousness, a deplorable state of affairs. But not I. I hold the light of life possessed by Colony Zero to be of the utmost importance. Naturally, that includes number seven. That is precisely why I have reached out to you, nominally my enemies, even with the concomitant difficulties acknowledged. Are you telling the truth? Come on, Senna, don't fall for it. Can you give us a guarantee that you aren't lying to us right now? Of course, is what I'd love to say, but naturally simple words are never enough to engender trust, I know. I have sent the current coordinates of Colony Zero to number seven. We shall remain here. Should you find yourselves receptive to my offer, do please pay us a visit and bring number seven with you. So you think giving us your location will make us trust you? How do we know this isn't a trap? In such a circumstance, you would possess a handy hostage in number seven. I trust I needn't say more. Ugh, has this guy heard the way he sounds? Of course, that is not what any of us really want. My desire is to see number seven safely return to me. That is all. Number seven? Yes? I'm tasking you with guiding them to Colony Zero. Follow their command until you return. Compliance. And number seven? Yes. We've all been worried about you. Hmm. That will be all. I will eagerly anticipate the day when we meet in more favorable circumstances. By the Consul's authority, number seven is hereby assigned to the Ouroboros' command as an exceptional measure for the duration. Pending your decision on the outcome of the proposed exchange, I await your command to depart. Well, this was... unexpected. Sagiri, what do we do with you? Just part of the protocol, innit? Wait, are you serious? You really trust that console? Of course I don't. Not entirely. I know it could be a trap as well, but still. If, and this is a big if, okay, if he was telling the truth earlier, then we won't have to fight with Sagiri and her friends. And more importantly, I'm sure there are people waiting for her there. So, for all those reasons, I thought... Well, either way, things can't stay like this forever. Rather than make speculation after speculation and do nothing, you want to set something in motion. It's also possible, if unlikely, that we might be able to talk it through. All right. Can you tell us where Colony Zero is right now? Atia region. Capricorn Peak. Huh? Wait, isn't that... That's where we fought against those guys, ain't it? The point where Colony Zero is stationed is located even further in. That explains why you were lying in wait for us there. However, the geographical feature called the Nauclea Mire is located en route. Entering it is predicted to have severe negative impact on your biological processes. Then how do you guys get through? A Ferron's environmental hazard resistance can temporarily neutralize poisonous materials. What's a Ferron? Oh, is that the thing you were riding inside? Affirmative. Consequently, traversal through the afflicted area will necessitate retrieval and refurbishing of the abandoned Ferron suit. We can ask Riku to fix it up. Will that be okay with you? No objections. Oh, if Riku must, we'll not leave friends in lurch. All right then. Just be patient for us a little while longer, okay, Sagiri?
compliance. How does it look, Riku? Can you get it in working order? It looked like problem mostly cosmetic. Riku have it working in no time flat. And ready. Riku proud of own handiwork. And how does it look to you? Can you still use it? Power lines clear. All sensors online. Farron unit number seven, fully operational. That... sounds good. Are you ready to guide us? Understood. Designating route. Welcome, friends. I've been hoping you would come. We've brought your soldier as you asked. So what now? Hmm. Number seven seems uninjured. Thank you for this magnanimous measure. As promised, Colony Zero's order to eradicate Ouroboros will be rescinded. You have my word that we will never again darken your doorsteps, figuratively speaking. <laughs> Talk is cheap, man. Oh, I assure you, the soldiers of Colony Zero are most faithful. They would never disobey an issued order. What's more, I personally have nothing but the deepest respect for you all. After all, you did tend to my dear number seven and brought her back to me unscathed. I offer you my sincere, heartfelt thanks. Yeah, all right. This doesn't sit right with me. Oh, I've just had the greatest idea. Number seven, you and our guests have traveled long and far to arrive here. Why don't we introduce them to the rest of the Colony Zero personnel? 
compliance. Uh, I think we're actually fine. Nonsense, no need to be shy. We need to tie a bond of trust between us, and where better to start than with a round of introductions? Sagiri, are you alright with that? The Consul's word is absolute. Number seven does not have the prerogative of choice. Number seven, show your face to everyone. I'm sure they'd like that. Number four has also been worried about you. Yes. Number four? Number four is number seven's right-hand man. With number seven absent, he had to take over the reins instead. He means like being an aide, then. Sagiri, does that make you the commander? Parts of the definition appear discrepant, but on the whole, there are no major issues with that denomination. You could have told us, you know. I have no record of the fact being queried. You've noticed it too, right, Tyon? Yeah, and I can't make sense of it. The Consul's attitude is one thing, but more importantly, the Pharonis. The one thing a colony needs, and there's no sign of it here. Or maybe... Maybe it's just something completely different from the colonies we know. A special unit under direct Mobius command. Were we too hasty coming here? For Senna's sake, and for that girl she trusts, let's hope not. I wonder what's around here. There you go. New colony data. Always nice to see a new face. Number seven, I'm relieved to see you back safe. Number four, no status abnormalities? We're all good here. Number ten and number eight are currently on a mission, but should be back soon. Revising query. Are there status abnormalities in number four's condition? Uh, no. I'm okay. Number four can still fight. However... Number seven, you're not at fault. If anything, it's my fault. Having such poor abilities in battle. Without disengaging the Farron's limiter, I couldn't fight prop... <sighs> Number four. Wh what's wrong? What is it? Sparks, you don't think this is... his flames leaking? <laughs> I'm cold. Number seven? Where are... I can't see a thing. <laughs> Number four has given his life to the Pharaoh. Oi, you better explain yourself. The Pharaohs are powered by life's flames. 
The flame clocks that impel them are synchronized to those of their passengers. Wait, did you say flame clocks? Does that make the ferrons? Indeed. The design differs, but you could see them as functionally identical to Pharonesis. In addition, Ferron flame clocks are fitted with the function to disengage the limiters. Disengage the limiters? Doing so allows the Ferron to burn through the flames that fuel it at an accelerated rate, maximizing the unit's power output. Once the limiter is disengaged, a first-term soldier can perform at a level comparable to a colony's commander. That incandescent power is the pith and marrow of the Ferrons, of Colony Zero's might. But what is Colony Zero to begin with? Who are you? Who are its soldiers? You could say we are those who work behind the scenes of this war. Battlefield manipulation, inciting sedition, information control, Elimination of third-party forces. It's all due to our ceaseless, thankless efforts that this war can continue unabated. And each life's fate arrives as ordained. In other words, we maintain the fabric of the world. That is the duty which is our pleasure to fulfill. Nothing but empty words. That's the reason you put your men in those things. Well, mate, you just showed us your whole ass. I knew you didn't care about the lives of your soldiers after all. Preposterous! I treasure their lives above any other good. They are to me the most exalted substance. Their immaculate lives, sacrificed in service to the world, permeated and form the basis of the eternity we Mobius covet! Stop it! Protecting my innocent lambs whose souls lubricate the gears of the world through a sublime sacrifice. That is the highest calling. Isn't it the loftiest vocation conceivable? Surely you must agree. Shut up already! I, I must beg your pardon. Have I said something to incur your displeasure? Snuff all of that and snuff you. How dare you? How could someone like you think for a second you treasure Sagiri? You have no right. We'll bring you down right here and now. Sagiri and everyone will be free from the flame clocks. But what in the blazes has brought this on? I told you from the start, I had no intention of fighting you. Have you lost your mind? Well, it seems unavoidable now. It seems the negotiations have broken down. Truly regrettable, and yet perhaps inevitable. All Ferran units, heed my call. You are ordered to disengage your limiters. <gasps> Number seven, your orders. Bring all your might to bear and crush the Ouroboros. Sagiri, listen, you don't... Compliance. Commencing Ouroboros annihilation. Sagiri. know how you must feel, but for now we have to fight, Senna. All units fall in and stand by. What's this? Consul, a report. What's the matter, number seven? Large expenditure of life's flames is forecast if limiters are disengaged for combat. Proposal following analysis of all units' flame totals. Restrict limiter disengagement to unit number seven. I see. What? What's she doing? She's trying to get her mates out of fighting. <laughs> Number seven. I recognize your unparalleled radiance. It brings you honor. Now behold, by my authority as consul, I order you. All Ferron units disengage limiters. <laughs> That 
snuffer. Just when I thought he couldn't go lower. Oh, number seven. Truly you are a marvel. The cry wafting from your spirit, it will water this endless world and make it bloom eternal. First off, let's deal with these guys. Yeah, just wait, Sigiri. We'll get you out of this mess, I promise!
Phenomenon. Number seven, I'm changing your orders. Kill that Ouroboros first. Top priority. Ugh. Comply it. Don't, Don't do, do it, Sagiri! That's an order, number seven. <laughs> number seven, what are you. <laughs> huh? <laughs> With the Consul's death in the line of duty, Colony Zero's chain of command is broken. Number 7 currently has no duties to perform, and no orders to follow. That means you don't have to fight us anymore. However, it is a matter of record that Number 7 took hostile action against Ouroboros. Perhaps you wish to mete out an appropriate punishment. Sagiri, you did nothing wrong! Really, we should be thanking you. Thanking? Why would that be? I mean, before, you attacked the Consul instead of us, so you held back from fighting us, and thanks to that, we were able to take down the Consul. Hmm. Anyway, that's enough about that. Now it's time to think to the future, right? I cannot comprehend. Huh? Why do you speak to number seven that way? Under what orders and from whom? Why did number seven disobey orders? Why did I not attack you as instructed? Requesting swift reply. Furthermore, requesting orders. Sagiri. Number seven is confused. I do not know what actions to take. I know what it's like to feel lost, uncertain, not know where to turn. But even you must have some things you think you'd really like to do, right? Number seven does not have thoughts matching that description. In that case, let's put our heads together. Let's think of things you might want to do. Is that an order? Nuh-uh. Nobody's giving you orders anymore. From now on, Sagiri, the only orders you should follow are your own. <gasps> the situation described does not conform to the accepted definition of 
orders. I... It was just like a metaphor, or... Or was it a simile? I... Really cannot comprehend. Uh... But... Although I cannot comprehend... Sagiri gives orders to number seven. If the circumstances be interpreted this way, then Sagiri... I... May be able to comprehend. Oh, Sagiri... Is it odd? No. I don't think so. I'm sure it's exactly right. Since, after all, you're free now. So, Sagiri, what are your orders for number seven? Top priority should be to investigate what it is that I want to do. More data must be gathered before this is ascertained. <laughs> that sounds very like you, but I think you're making it too complicated. It doesn't have to be just one thing, and it can be anything, really. It can be anything? Yep, anything at all. In that case... Yes, did you think of something? Right now, I think I'd like one of your onigiri, Sana. By the way, I wanted to ask about the Pharon. I suppose there's no way to use them anymore. That statement is incorrect. Oh, really? Motive function can be restored by switching to alternative power source using ether cylinders. Power output will be inferior to the original flame clock system, and the limiter can't be removed, but shouldn't hinder combat. I will be able to fight on. Wow, uh, that's great news. Do you think we can ask you to fight by our side again, then? Understood. Pharon Unit Number 7 will gladly join Ouroboros Battle Unit. We'll be counting on you then, Sagiri. Affirmative. <laughs> 